Our aunt's still fast asleep. I thought it'd be for the crack of dawn scoffing his Easter eggs. <laughs> hey, that's much better. Yeah, found some stuff under the stairs. Come in handy next time Tim crashes through. If there's a next time, he's dead. A bit better than your Andy work, eh? I didn't know we had the right stuff. And anyway, you wanted the garden tidied. Yeah, you stick to cutting the grass. Leave the artistic stuff to our Steve. <sighs> Where's our Anthony? Still asleep. Is he all right? He's been very quiet lately. Maybe he's just tired. Yeah, I can't understand why you don't want a baby. Why? Uh, Harry, don't be throwing paper around. We're secure. We're settled. No money worries. Can't it wait? No, no, I want to talk about it now. Oh, Harry, what have I told you? I can't understand why you're being like Give this. Give that to Mummy. OK, look, I'll make you some coffee and we can talk, I, yeah? I, I can't. I've got to meet someone. It's about helping out at the shelf. On Easter Sunday? Well, you couldn't make it any other day. Well, who is he? Uh, I forget. I've got the name written down somewhere at the restaurant. Um, look, I'll be back as soon as I can. Before the oh, lunch, uh, restaurant. Yeah? Oh, there. Oh, no. Now, look at the mess you have made here. Yeah? <sighs> and he still didn't know. Not until Cool Deep told him on the way to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's recovered. Come and have a drink, Kate. Oh, tell that lot to Katie. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? I mean, oh. look at the state of this place. Oh, uh oh. Oh, someone's not a happy Easter bunny, are they? <laughs> Cheers, big ears. <laughs> How much have you drunk? I mean, look at the place. It's a flipping pigsty. Oh, time for bed, I reckon. Yeah, I'm right behind you, Mummy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Never mind. Bed. Get some coffee down and get this place sorted. Oh, sorry, Kate. I'm just too tired. I'm sorry, Kate. I've got to sleep. Come back here, Sammy. <sighs> Has it gone eight o'clock yet? It's half past nine. The clocks have changed. You've lost an hour in bed already. So, you don't mind seeing me this early? It's just things have been mad since the headwaiter left. Oh, where is it you've been working? The Palm Door in town. Waiting up? Yeah, well, since last week I've been standing for Claude. He's from Heighton, really. <laughs> the, the headwaiter who's left, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Right. Oh. Um, don't you like working there? No, no, it's great. But it's closing. Really? Yeah, no one knows why. Well, the owner and his missus are getting divorced, so. That's the only trouble with family business, isn't it? Mm. Tell me about it. And I was talking to Bev the other week, and she said I should have a word with you. Well, you'll have to tell me what you've been doing. You told me that uh, you trained up as Major D. Oh, yeah, it was brilliant. I, I can show you some glowing references. For you. Come on, say thank you. Go. I'll take them upstairs, kids, with all your other ones. Go on, be good. <laughs> One each we used to get when we were kids. Yeah, yeah. us and all. That'd be abuse these days. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, I'll be glad to see the old screen flints on Friday. Oh, I bet he'll spoil all his grandkids rotten. If he can afford it. Is the business that bad? Mate, you could hardly call it a business. More like a hobby. What have you told him? Uh, have you told him about your lodgers? Well, I was thinking of telling him when we pick him up. You know, on the way home. Just after you tell him about your new baby. Well, I don't want anyone to know about it. What well, he could have told me. Yeah, well, it's best to wait 12 weeks, isn't it? You know, just to be sure that everything's OK. Yeah, but you can tell your dad. He'll be made up. No, I don't want anyone to know about it. OK, fine. Anyway, where's Beth? I've got an egg for her. Um, she's gone for a walk with Ray and Jessie. I'll just live and get it. Hey, you don't think she's... you know? What? No, never mind, she wouldn't. Go on, tell me. I don't think she wants to get rid of it. Well, if she did, me dad would kill her. Why all the secrecy? Who knows? Just leave her to it. Maybe she's going to flog it. She's got 30 grand for the last one. <laughs> Steve, can you put the meat in the oven about I'm having a block? Hey, yeah. leave that alone. Ah. You know the rules not to be open till after we've had our dinner. I am 21, you know. And you're old enough to know better. You fancy the bit of chocolate? As far as I'm concerned, Lent doesn't end till after Mass on Easter Sunday. You ready? Yeah. 
Oh, are you coming with us? Well, you packed it all in. It's his free choice. Are you sure, love? Of course he's sure. Uh, he certainly is, but not even he could take on three such formidable midfield players. Baker, Lewis and Peters, without any help, and his teammates are going. See you later. Hey, hang on. How come he's going to mass if you've been twisting his arm? It was his own decision. Is that right, Aunt? At least he has the decency to celebrate Easter when Jesus rose from the dead. Most important day in the church. If it's what you want, son. Come on, Aunt. Come on, love. Hmm. We don't have any vacancies as such. You, you know that, don't you? Well, I know you haven't advertised. Well, I could start as a waiter, couldn't I? There are always vacancies for waiters. Any chance for a bit more, like? Oh, it's just I've been a maitre d' now, and I used to think all this greeting and taking people to the tables was, well, you know, pretentious. <laughs> but it's not, is it? It's about organising things. It's, it's like making the place look busy, but not overcrowded. You know, creating the right atmosphere. Oh, I can see myself doing that here, Max. In time, of course, when you think I'm ready. Excuse me, uh... Hello? You okay? All right, I'll be, uh, there in a few minutes. Bye-bye. I'm sorry about that. I'm afraid something's come up at home. Can you hang on a bit? Yeah, well, how long will you be? I I've got to be back for lunchtime open. Oh, that makes two of us. Uh, I'll be as quick as I can. Look, um, make yourself a coffee, yeah? I'll make old scratch on the Beth's. I'll be as quick as I can. Like I tried to say before, we're secure, we're settled, we've got no money trouble, so I don't understand why you don't want a baby. Well, it's fine for you, isn't it? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm going to be the one stuck at home with the kids, a full-time mum. I thought that's what you wanted. Oh, you wanted it? No, well, yes, so did you. We, we talked about it endlessly, our honeymoon, remember? Our manifesto for life. Yeah, but now I feel like I've got no choice. Yeah, but... You wanted another child. We talked about that, too. Well, I do. Yeah, so what's the problem? You know, it takes six months or a year out, just like any other woman, and then go back to work. I don't want that. Why? I just don't want it. Not now. Fancy a swift pint before dinner? Nah, mate, I want to get this finished. What are you doing now? I... I changed your mind. Before or after you went in? After. What did you then have to say about that? I just walked out. <sighs> nice one, Ant. We'll never hear the last of that, will we? There's mum up yet? Not yet, it's all up. I wanted to go out today, and I wouldn't count on that, not after last night. Was she drunk again? Maybe she was just as bad. We still knocking it back when I got up, just before you did. She said days ago we could go out for Easter. Hey, at least she remembered to get you an Easter egg. Mm, I love this chocolate. So does Nisha, so you better hide it in your room, maybe before she helps herself. When I've had a bit. My mum wouldn't let us have ours until after we'd had our dinner and our tea. Oh, just a bit. We'll pick out. 
You better not. Go on then, just a bit. Um, listen, about this morning, I'm sorry, but we were just enjoying ourselves. I'm sorry, you know. Should've seen the mess I've had to clean up pizza trodden into the carpet and all sorts. Pizza? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's not fair on Louise or me. That's nice. Where did you get it? Oh, why are you so touchy? I bought it for you. And then I realised you hadn't bothered getting Louise one, so I gave it to her and said it was from you. Well, you shouldn't interfere. I had to interfere. I was trying to cheer the poor kid up. And you promised to take it out today. And look at your half dead. Um, was I the only one who got rotten last night? I mean, what about you? I didn't stay up all night. Oh, no, you just got weepy on us and crashed out. I mean, what was that all about? Well, if you can't remember, I'm not going to remind you. We need to clean this place up today. It's a pigsty. We can't live like this. Oh, will you shut up? You're starting to sound like an old woman. I'm sick of it. It's been chaos since the day you arrived. Any more of that put, love? Help yourself. Do you want some, Mum? No, thanks, love. I'm saving myself for that box of chocolates you bought me. Or does that mean us kids can open our Easter eggs, then? Go ahead. Lent's over now. Come on, mate. Leave our Dells alone. I don't know if our Anthony should open this, not after his performance in church this morning. He changed his mind, that's all. But why? He asked to go. Why did you run out like that? I don't know. I just did. Might have been better if you'd decided before you went in, love. I know. Sorry. Go and get your Easter egg. Go on. You're too soft with him. He made a right show of us in church, and don't think the priest didn't notice. He's probably seen it all before. What do you mean? People doing a run of us as they clap eyes on his ugly mug. <laughs> Are we going out? Oh, no, I've got a nip into work. Great. Oh, you're on holiday. There'll be other days. Yeah. <sighs> Don't be like this, Liv. I'll read my book, OK? We should still on a coma up there. Joe, if you want something to do, and do it yourself. Um, what shifts are you on this week? Why? Days or late. Why? Well, it's just that I've decided I'm going to see Richard Friday, just for a day or two. In London? Yeah. Can I come? Well, no, I think it's best if you stay with Auntie Katie. Mum. Hang on a minute. What's going on? I know it's short notice, but it's just that I've arranged to get some stuff that belongs to me from Richard's. Why can't I come? Well, it's business. It's not like I'm swanning around the West End. Clothes and personal things. And I've got a marble chest that he got me in room. It cost a bomb. I can sell it. So you want me to look after Lou? We need the money, you know we do. What if my shifts get changed? Oh, you're Dr. Paul's blue-eyed girl, the new head receptionist. You can fix things. You can do no wrong. Please, Kate, it'd be a great help. Me and Lou, we need the money. I should go. OK, I'll do it. On one condition. You clean this place today from top to bottom, starting with this lot. Deal. Cheers. You can stay home and be a full-time mum. And we can afford childcare. And I don't just mean Rachel. I mean proper professional childcare. You know, you, you can do what you want. Your options are open. It's a lot more than some people have. I know, but... But what? Well, how am I going to run a bar and, and look after a newborn baby? But the childcare. Yeah, but Max building up a bar. Oh, it's... damn the bar. Talk about an impulse buy. And before the bar option turned up, you were fixated on a crash. Seems like you're always looking for something to divert from the main issue. What do you mean? You don't seem to be able to get your head around the fact that we are having another baby. There's always a barrier coming up. No. Yeah, well, that's how it looks from here. You, know, you don't understand. Look, you'll have Bev in to manage the bar. It'll be up and running well before the baby's born. So you can relax, you can do what you want. I couldn't do it. I know you can. I'll have three kids under the age of five. And my own businesses. You know, I got Sol in to manage the club and I couldn't even manage two children. Yes, you could. No, I couldn't. I've had my own businesses since I was 20 and it was easy. But I couldn't even manage to look after a couple of kids on my own. You know, business is easy, but kids aren't. You'll get used to it, and you'll have all the help that you need. I feel really guilty thinking like this. 
But it's true. I won't be able to cope. The whole thought of it scares me to death, Max. Look, I know you've been catapulted into motherhood, but... I dread it. What will happen to me? Nothing. You'll get used to it. Oh, yeah. What about Susanna? Hey, she was a proper mother, and even she ended up losing it with the kids. You are a proper mother. You, Of course you are. You know what? I don't feel like I ever can be. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to be stressed out with it all, and I don't want to be a failure. You aren't, and you won't be. Look, it's just a shock finding out that you're pregnant, that's all. Look, 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 look. I, I've got to go to work. I do understand, you know. I know it's a huge responsibility, but... It's early days, and you'll have time to adjust. Please, just calm down and think it through. Oh, look here, just take the lock, Paul. It won't be long. Hiya! Oh, what a day. What's up? Well, he drives me into town to buy my new pair of trainers. I end up spending a fortune on them. Now he wants to go to the pictures. Hurry up, Mum! So we've got to come back here, try on all his gear, then we'll have to dash back to the cinema. I tell you, kids. I should let him get away with it anyway. How are you? I'm not living in fast lane like you. God knows what I'm going to do when that bar opens. Jackie's not going to let me have Josh in there. What I'm gonna do? Holidays and back to school. Hey, you don't fancy doing a bit of child mind, do you? I'm oh, sorry, I can't. I will pay you and everything. I'm minding Harry and Emma for Jackie and Rebecca as well. She gets everywhere, that one. Couldn't you afford to pay for a proper child minder? You did sell the bar. Well, all my debts are paid. I've got nothing left. <laughs> Another feeling. If only I got what I paid for that place. Could have made a fresh start. Now, I feel like I'm stuck with her forever. <laughs> At least it's a job. That's what I keep telling myself. Not eating your egg? Oh, you're not letting them get at you over all that church stuff, are you? Look, you did the right thing. You realised it was all garbage, so you spewed it for good. Eat your egg and forget about it, eh? Don't want it. Well, I'll have a bit then. Hang on a minute, why aren't you screaming your head off? I'm nicking your egg here. Do you believe in ghosts and people coming back from the dead and that? Don't be daft. People don't come back from the dead. Well, not unless you give them a hard time and a living. Like killing them. <laughs> a fish still getting bullied, his faith should help him. Well, obviously not, or he wouldn't have changed his mind this morning. It's school that should be doing something. Are you sure he's still being bullied? His clothes were filthy and he tried to hide them. It's obvious. Imelda's done a bunker, hasn't she? That page one. She might still be on his case. Imelda's gone to London, though, hasn't she? I hope someone pushes her under a tube tray. Marty! Well, that little cow's caused no end of trouble. Oh, that was talking about ghosts and people coming back from the dead. Well? Just then, in the living room, talking to him. What did he mean? It's all your Catholic stuff that's doing his head in, though. I beg your pardon? Well, it's all about guilt, isn't it? Feeling guilty for putting Christ through it and that. Probably thinks he should do penance or something because she persecuted him. All makes sense, doesn't it? It is typical of our Anthony. He got the girl expelled, she ran away. He could feel guilty about that. Oh, come on, Bridget. She's right, love. When you think about it, that's what he's like. He has to feel guilty about something. Well, he shouldn't. Imelda Doon wants the best things happened to our Anthony for ages. He should be celebrating. Or tea. Serves you right. What time is it? Quarter past two. You should stay in bed the state you were in. No, I should have been revising for my exam this morning. We should have thought about that before we stayed up all night drinking. Oh, I got carried away. Yeah, you're as bad as our Sammy. This place was a disaster early when you stopped boozing, when normal people are getting up. I'm sorry, I was just stressed out about my exams. And I'm stressed out at you leaving this place a mess. Uh, I didn't see you holding back last night. I've got a lot on my mind. Yeah, well, the drinks were meant to cheer you up, not make you more depressed. All right. You didn't sound it when we put you to bed last night. So Ron Dixon's coming out. You can handle that. You know, you can. I'm all right. I, I had too much, OK? Oh, 
just tell him thanks. I'll, I'll get back to him. Yeah. Oh, uh, apologies again. Yeah, bye. I'm sorry, Max. I can't help it. I just want this pregnancy to, to just go away. I can't go with it. Come on, look. <laughs> Tell me what you want to say. Oh. Just anything, because I'll support you. Anything you want to do. Is it an abortion? I mean, is that what you want to do? Tell me that having another child is neither here nor there to me. Don't you dare. I made up you're doing this for me. Where's the Emma? Have you been drinking? Josh's family. If Bev needs help, we should find a way. What did she say? You took the job and the money. Your private life is not my problem. So I take her out the back? I don't care. Just get her out of my sight, all right? That next Brookside is tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And how much do you reckon you pay for a house on the close? We might get some idea next on 4, because location, location, location is property hunting in Liverpool. Fuzzy from all that booze. I don't know if any of that last minute revision sunk in either. I don't know how Sammy does it. She drinks bucketfuls and just gets on with it. Up for work, no probs. You're not dressed? I know. Are you gonna be late? Are you alright? Do you need your minds and that the fellow who killed Clint gets his freedom tomorrow? Why are you doing this? Your own boyfriend's walked out on you because of it and you still want to look after the nutter? I don't understand. You couldn't pay me enough to look after them anyway. I'm not interested in the money. I know, you're doing it for nothing. You must be mad. You should be in the loony bin with them. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Dad. I can't wait. Yeah, well, listen, it's less than 24 hours now, so that'll fly. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Drop. Do you know what? He sounds great. I haven't heard him like that for ages. You still haven't answered my question. I'm sure it's not you that wants me to have an abortion. Well... <laughs> well, do you or don't you? It's not a question for me. It's a woman's choice, isn't it? Whatever you want, I'll go along with. Yeah, but you must have some idea what you want. Yes, but that's not the point. It... It's what you want. Do you want me to have an abortion? No, I didn't say that. I said I'd go along with you. Oh, so you want me to make the decision for you? Look, what do you want? What... 
Do you want to get rid of it? No. I just don't want to be pregnant, that's all. I'm going to boat you. <laughs> it's not my choice. It sounds like you're hiding your feelings. I I'm not hiding anything. Then what do you want? What are you doing? Oh. Some fellas just come out to me in the suit. Well, well, something might be happening. Has John said anything to you about buying it? No. Come on, let's just get the kettle on, eh? Are you all right? Oh, it's all right, Anthony. I don't know what's up with him. He's off school, but he doesn't want to do anything. Just sits and mopes in his room all day. I'm 45. Will I have the energy to be the father of a small child in a few years' time? Or... Well, maybe we should just go along with nature and have this baby. So you don't want me to have an abortion? No. But like I said, whatever decision you make, I'll go along with it. Hey, at least one thing's for certain. At least we made this baby the natural way, not a turkey baster inside. Don't you think that will be fulfilling? I just can't get me a drowned. I really can't. I mean, when I found out I was pregnant last time, well, I was pleased as punch, but now, you know, well, I've got so much going for me. I've got the bar and the club and Harry and Emma and you. And another child along the way. Everything I've ever done, even since I was a kid, I've planned. But, well, you know, I, I said I wanted to swim for the county, and I did it. I said I wanted to be a, a qualified lifeguard, and I did that. You know, I wanted my own business, and I got it. But all oh, this, it's... <sighs> Look, I've left a note for Rachel, and I'm going to have to get to work. Yeah, well, if you could relax just for one minute, maybe... Just maybe you could get your head around it. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I just can't think about it now. I'll have to go. And there you go, stink. Daddy. You sit down and you eat your breakfast. Hello. Is your toothache? Disappeared. Let's hope it stays that way, eh? Where's Jane Jessie? I'm to order some furniture. Yeah. Bungalow isn't even rebuilt yet. Well, at least they're out. Yeah, I need day off and all. Nice one. I intend to think what my dad's gonna say though when he comes back and finds them here. Has he found a bit coming home? Not yet, no. Well, maybe you should tell him when he does, get it all out of the way for when he gets home. No, that's more of a face to face thing, I think. Oh, Come on, Beth, we've gotta go and see Harry and Emma. Oh, it never stops, does it? Oh, Bev must have been desperate to ask me to mind Josh. What? Well, as if I can manage Josh as well as this one and Jackie's kids. She asked me to help out with Josh, you know, when the bar opens. When you knocked her back? Of course I did. Why? Well, I've got enough on as it is. Rachel. Josh's family. If Bev needs help, we should find a way. What did she say? That's great. Cheers. I'm going now, Gary. My exam, 9.30. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. It's Katie Bell. Um, she'll, she'll be in any minute. So you're nervous? Mm, how did you guess? Have you done your last minute spotting? Uh, well, unfortunately, I've had a few late nights, but... Oh, well. Um... I, uh, I got you a little prezzy. Well, it's more like an exam mascot, really. Oh, there was no need. <laughs> but it got me through my last lot of exams. I thought I might do the same for you, you know. Uh... <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, well, good luck. Thanks. <gasps> I better go. Thanks for this. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going out myself now, so I'll give you a lift if you want. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> There's no way I can help Bev. Not when I've already got three kids to mind. Well, I'll have to do it then. Yeah. And where are you going to get the time from? Working nights? I'll have to find time. Oh, I don't see why you're so keen to help Bev all of a sudden. Are you jealous or something? No, don't be daft. Oh, Josh is my son. I just feel like it's time I took that seriously. You know, responsibility and all that. You've never felt that way before. Your dad's a responsibility for him. I'm not talking about money. Yeah, well, Bev says she's broke. And your Jackie says your daddy's and all. What if Bev wants regular money off you for Josh? She wouldn't ask that. Yeah, but what if she did, though? She has a legal right. She won't. Will you stop worrying? Yeah, well, I am worried. We both want another baby, but we can't afford to. If she got child support on you, we'll never be able to have any more children. Look, 
All I'm talking about is giving Bev a little bit of a hand. I'll go and see her. No, leave it. You need to get some sleep. Rachel, I'm not working tonight. And I feel really bad about knocking her back, especially when I've only just offered to help her. I want to do for another day. Come to Jackie's with me and Bev. I can do without Harry and Emma, thanks. See you in a bit. The shop fitters have agreed to do some work over the next weekend, so they'll be doing some late nights. How late? You'd be working late if the bar was open. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. What? Well, it's just... When the bar's open, things are going to be a bit difficult with Josh, so if you could be a bit flexible with me hours, you know, so I could fit round him. Bev, it's a full-time job. I want you here. Yeah, but you've got kids, you know. I'm fed up with mine and all. But look, you took the job and the money. Your private life is not my problem. If you've got any problems, give us a ring. See you later. Bev! Oh, that sister of yours is a right one. Oh, well, what's she done now? All I asked her for was a bit of flexibility with me hours, you know, so I can keep an eye on Josh. Yeah, Rachel said you thought you might have problems. Uh, didn't know Mrs Farnham was going to screw me on childcare as well as that place. Well, look, Bev, I'm sorry Rachel can't help you out, but I need to say that I can. Yeah? Yeah, when I can. Oh, well, this is a surprise. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be easy, you know, with me shifts and everything, but, well, I'm here if you need me. Well, that's really good of you, Mike. <sighs> I can't provide. I'm living with me dad. I've got no car. I'm up to me years in debt. I mean, we can't even afford to buy Beth any decent clothes. Tell me about it. Me and Josh have been there. I'll tell me when it's OK. Oh, you know, it is my worst nightmare that happening again. Yeah, your dad got you out of all that, though, didn't he? He did. And I'll always be grateful to Ron for that. Oh, well. At least I can pay me debts and I've got a flat and a job. No matter what I have to take, I'm not going through that again, you know. Hey, even if I do have to work for your bitch of a sister. <laughs> Think she's all right? She's a bit spaced out, don't she? Must have been helping herself with the tablets. <laughs> Yay! Why don't you draw a picture of them swimming on the pond, eh? Right, I'm off, Rachel. Is everything all right? Yeah, great. OK, uh, I've left the shopping list there on the top with uh, the cash. Yeah, I've seen it. I thought we could go after they've had the dinner. I don't know how you manage shopping with three children. <laughs> well, I've got rains for them. And the weather ain't that bad. Why don't you take a taxi? No, don't be soft. We can walk. No, 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 no. Go on. It'll be quicker. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'd no. have a live shopping. Please, take it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. All right, treat yourself. Thanks. All right. All right, bye then. Um, bye, gang. Uh, Max, is it OK if I put stereo on? Yeah, sure. No problem. DVD, video. Uh, help yourself. Thanks. Hey, we're you going shopping in a taxi. Yeah. <laughs> what times do you get in? I had to cover for you with Gary, you know. <laughs> Bet you enjoyed that. Where are you staying, Matt? Have you been drinking? No. For crying out! Will you get in the medical room now? Shut up! Shut up! Just move! You're not fit to work. Get in there. Go on! What do you think you're doing, drinking before work? I felt like it. You know, leave me alone. Oh, I'm going to go and make you some coffee. Stick your coffee. What's going on? And why aren't you in reception? She had a bit of an accident. What sort of an accident? I fell off a chair. I'm trying to get back to work. Don't you mean alcohol poisoning? You're drunk! No, I'm not. Get her home and get her sobered up now. Should I take her out the back? I don't care. Just get her out of my sight, all right? tonight, OK? I've got to go into uni after I've been to see Jimmy. He said this place was going to be another nursery. Yeah? Joanne knew that this place was up for sale, and she's done nothing about it. 
We could have gone in there with a nail bar, massage, aromatherapy, the works. Maybe she wasn't interested. Yeah, but well, she must be soft, because I would have had a real go at that. She might open another shot where you can wait. Look, no tea for me, OK? See ya. What's all the hammer? He's telling me that's going to be another nursery. Yeah? Yeah, great. Think of the business, I'll bring in a lot of customers. What? A load of hassle takes a something year old mother's wanting a cotton blow. It all pays our wages. <laughs> you heard, Gary, he went ape. I don't care. Don't drink any more, please. If you're sober up, you might just have a chance of keeping your job, Katie. <sighs> I don't believe this. I was in a publicity meeting with Sock, and your sister got bladdered before she came into work. Give me that. Get off! I don't want Louise seeing you like this. Look who's talking. Now, why didn't the periods just leave me alone? Oh, Katie. This is all I need. I'm going to London tomorrow, and she's supposed to be minding Louise. But how can I trust her to if she's drinking like this? You hypocrite. Minding Louise has never stopped you getting drunk, has it? Yeah, well, I can handle it. She can't. You came here to support Katie, and now she needs you. You're gonna go swanning off to London. Well, it's just for a day or two. Ron Dixon gets out of prison tomorrow. What do you think this is all about? I forgot it was tomorrow. But well, well, what can I do? It's all planned. Cancel London and look after your sister. She could get the sack after this. Gary went mad at her. No. It doesn't look good, and you should be here for her. That was what you came down here for, wasn't it? She could lose her job, and God knows what state she'll be in then. I know, but I can't. I booked my ticket, took time off work, and, well, Richard's expecting me. I have to go. You selfish cow! I don't believe you! Why is he doing that when he goes off on what? Well, I hope she's sure about what she's taking on. It's a lot of responsibility for a girl of her age. She's cracked. Hey, girls, mind we join you? Not at all. See, the nursery's been sold. It's going to be another nursery. Can you believe it? Never mind. Might bring more punch to them. That's what I said. That sugar machine hasn't put sugar in my coffee. She's not, because our boss didn't buy the nursery and put her in charge of her nails and beauty salon. Well, wouldn't that job have been yours? Well, I haven't been on the course. All but the pay rise. Emily has. Makes my job feel safer now. Got plans to build a little empire, has she? She convinced herself the boss was going to buy next door. As far as I knew, she never even considered it. Oh. Hey, did you hear about that little girl from Annapol who went missing? Yeah, I read about that in the paper. Have you heard? You know that little girl the police are looking for? Uh, yeah. She's one of the cloths, isn't she? Yeah, that's right. Um, Imelda Clough. Do you know her? Mom, I went to school with Brother Sam. The right gang of scales, real toe legs. Mm. I heard about it on the radio. Apparently, she's ran away to London cos she was expelled from school. Police are really worried about her. Well, why'd she get expelled? Didn't say. Worrying, though, isn't it? Miss Shirley, 12. Mind you, if she's anything like the rest of her family, she booked all sorts down there. Selling herself, dealing drugs. In fact, she's probably getting made up by some pave as we speak. Does your aunt know her? Not really. She was in his class, I think. Well, well, doesn't he know if she's gone to London or not? I shouldn't think so. There was some talk of her seeing a friend she'd met on holiday. Yeah, I, I read about that in the paper. She's as bad as you say. London's welcome to her. Oh, she's only a kid. Yeah, well, I've got my own kids to worry about. I'd better get back. Hiya. Hello, kid. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, not so bad, OK. There you go. Was that for me? <laughs> yeah. What is it? Open it and see. Oh. Oh. It's a bit late, like, but... No, no, it's good of you, thanks. We've got even better news. I've been talking to Dr Reese, you know, on the psychiatric team, and we're going to a meeting. You and Emma? <laughs> no, me and you are going to be meeting the team in about ten minutes, so we can discuss how we're going to play all this. You sorted that? Didn't save much, you know. Hey, Nick, I know I was against this, you know, at first, but, um... Well... I made up you doing this for me. Honest, I am. We haven't got there yet, have we? Hey, you can get yourself spruced up and go knock them dead. You're brilliant, you. I was telling the wife, Anyone in? In here. Oh, it's all night for some, isn't it? I've just done six 12-hour nights and now I'm having a night off. All right, chill. I wanted to see you, actually. 
I was here. I was speaking to Bev before. You know about Josh and the job. Don't the... even go there. She got the job and she knows the score. Anyway, my dad phoned me this morning. He's getting out at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, no problem. I'm not working tonight, so you can drive us there this time, can't you? Yeah, but I'm worried. What if he rings me again tonight? What am I going to say about Ray and Jesse? Nothing. We tell him on a drive home. That way, it gives him a chance to get his head round it, all right? Yeah. Oh, he's not going to like it, though, is he? Tell me about it. I've been dreading it. I mean, he's been looking forward to walking in here for months. So get ready for him to go ballistic on us. I keep thinking I'm dreaming. Out of here tomorrow morning. I knew we could do it. We're going to make an ace team, you and me. Are you sure about this, kid? Wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't. No, I mean, really sure. You know, you've got loads of other things to do, haven't you? Uni and that. Look, everything that's happened has been helping me. Whatever happens after tomorrow, it's all going to help me with me work. I was thinking more of you and Jerome. Ah, he's just sulking. He'll soon come back. Will he? Look, running off to stay with his mate, it's got nothing to do with me helping you out. It's because the insurance. He's still simmering because he didn't get a big chunk of money off me now and May. <sighs> Maybe. But I don't want to mess your life up. End up being a burden to you. Hey. No, that's why I pushed our Lindsay into taking that job in Newcastle. I didn't want to hold her back. Were you listening in there? The community support groups are there to help. Dr. Parr will be getting involved with us. All I've got to do is shout for help. Yeah, but you and Jerome, I'm worried he... I don't want to come between you. Forget about him. Look, let's start looking forward to tomorrow, eh? Hey? Is everything in your empire under control? Oh, Max, I, I don't want all that again. You can't hide your head in the sand, you know. This baby has to be discussed. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that. Oh, well, now there's a start. Well, why are you so uptight about it? Why is another baby so important to you? For heaven's sake! Oh, come on! What does it matter to you? What are you talking about? Well, you've got four kids already. I mean, two of them live in Canada, you don't even see. I mean, how often do you phone them, eh? What about the children that I'll never see? Look out there! Just two trees. That's all I've got. Look, a few photographs and two trees. You know, it's five years ago this week that I lost Matthew and Emily. Five years. And it doesn't get any better, you know? I tried to put it to the back of my mind, but... Whenever I remember, everything comes back. Everything. And the pointless, stupid waste of it. So don't you tell me that having another child is neither here nor there to me, because... because don't you dare. You know, the one thing, the one good thing about losing those children was that we came together by having Harry, our baby. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said all that. I haven't had a chance to ask you how it went this morning. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe I should have done more revision, too many late nights. That must have About all that this morning, I could have stopped it. I was just too preoccupied with my exams and everything. And hungover, no doubt. I was a bit fuzzy, but... It makes you wonder if you two do anything but drink up there, you know? Oh, honestly, Gary, it's not like that. <sighs> what do you think's gonna happen about Katie? You know, I can't talk about that now. It's not my decision alone. I know that, but she's been through a lot lately, you know. The man who killed her boyfriend, the boy she was going to marry, he's coming out of prison tomorrow. And well, Katie's in a really tough position at the moment. He only lives around the corner. She was drunk in work. But Ron Dixon getting out, that's what caused it. Can't you think of her as, well, like a patient, someone with a problem? She really needs that job, Gary. No, look, I'm sorry, but I can't discuss it, all right? Anyway, you saw what happened. She was a disgrace. And she's already had one written warning. When? Are you sure? Yes, I am. Last year. It's all in a file. Dixon! He is well enough, isn't he? Of course, yeah. Is the outside world ready for me, though? Full name and number, Ronald Dixon, 3645987. You hard-faced mate, will you listen to yourself? And I know Ron's coming out of jail today, so just get over it, will you? I found these upstairs. And what kind of a flaming welcome home do you call this, eh? 
Channel 4's on the outside tomorrow at 8.30. Next on 4, Speed is King with Lotus, Lamborghini, Bentley and a couple of old bangers in Driven. So you're not coming into work again today? I don't need this. Oh, yes, you do. I was talking to Gary about you. So? I was stupid enough to stand up for you, saying this was a one-off. And what does he throw back in my face? That you've already had a written warning. Why'd you never tell me that? Leave me alone. And there was me going on about Ron Dixon coming out of prison and you being under pressure and... Katie, are you listening to me? I want to get back early. I'm expecting Helen this morning. We'll only have to wait if Jimmy's not ready, you know. Ah, oh, we'll be ready. If he really is fit enough to come out, there'll be no stopping him. Um, he is well enough, isn't he? Of course, yeah. Well, because if he's not, you know, you know what I think. I mean, you're taking on a big responsibility looking after him. We'll be fine, and so will I. I promise you. Just be like having the old Jimmy back. <clears throat> Late, you know. We'll be okay. Only just, and you know what he's like. He'll go ballistic if we're not there to meet him. Where are you going now? Well, it'll be a minute. So, you spoke to Katie, yeah? To be honest, I pretty much lost my rag with her. Probably just what she needed. No, you can't help feeling sorry for her, though, can you? I mean, under normal circumstances, yeah, you should never be in work under the influence. But Katie's way off being in a normal situation. I mean, a fiancé was shot dead and... Yeah, yeah, the fellow who did it is riding into town today. You've already done that number of me, haven't you? But, come on, I mean, she was drunk in here. I know, I know, but... I don't know. Oh, I should just forget about it. No, it's fine. Just keep going. I feel that strongly about it, you know? Well, it's not just because I'm a mate, but... Well, OK, the symptom was drinking because Ron Dixon was coming home, the father of her best friend, right? And with Clint, well, she finally thought she'd cracked it. No, you're gonna have to keep going now. You got me hooked. Oh yeah. You came then. I said I would, didn't I? People are always saying they'll do things. Then they don't keep the word. So, are you ready to face the outside world, then? 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. Is the outside world ready for me, though? Right. Well, you're packed. Yeah. All ready to go. Yeah. Ray waste in the car. He's parked on double yellows with his engine running. Good old Ray. He said we have to hurry now to get back. He's got Helen coming round. Oh, right. Better get a move on then, eh? What are you smiling about? Uh, Katie. How come she's suddenly funny? No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, it's not her. I mean, it's just... just what happens to some people, isn't it? Like? Well, it's never one trauma, is it? I mean, it's just one thing after another after another. It's like a soap opera. Some people do lead troubled lives, though, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and I was thinking about what you said as well, about treating her like a patient rather than a member of staff. You know, you should try psychiatry after pharmacology. So you're still thinking of disciplining her? I think that's the last thing she needs, don't you? Would it be OK for me to tell her that? Yeah, well, why not? But tell her that she owes... Me... No, that actually, she owes you one, all right? Uh, excuse me, sir. I don't want to seem out of line, but... Do you think I could have that? Thank you. Look, I've told you... Hurry up, will you? Oh, I've got no idea where Saul is. He's supposed to be in work. He will try his mobile, not mine. Ta-ra! We're gonna be late, you know. Well, I'm sorry, but I was being sick. Oh, sugar. What now? Well, I forgot to get petrol. Hey, it's time for petrol. Oh, brilliant. Full name and number? Ronald Dixon, 36459987. Have you got everything you came in with? Yeah. <laughs> Any complaints? OK. <laughs> Shoot it to work for an hour. We've got a delivery to you, okay? Fine. Before you go, though, what have you got there? Easy for him? Under our aunt's bed when I was looking for my bag. What else do you get like that? Put the house keys, look. Our aunt's got them. She texts me. Shouldn't they see me now? So well. Oh, it's just a job, eh? With a bit of luck, she'll have the kettle on. Hello, hello, love. Hey, yeah. You know Nicky, don't you? I do. And, and Jimmy. Nice to see you again. Yeah, hi, nice to see you and all. Uh, you coming in for a cup of tea, Jim? Why you got a visitor? Oh, you don't mind, do you, Helen? Not at all, no. Hey, listen, with a bit of luck, might get a biscuit and all, eh? <laughs> if we're good. Yeah. Miss him. Oh, well, I've got a taxi. We better jump in quick. If he gets home before us, we're dead. <sighs> so where is it you 
work. At the bingo, we drove. Oh, right, the bingo. Two little ducks. <laughs> Kelly's eye. All that lark. <laughs> Do you have to remember all those wacky names? Well, not for my job, no. I'm only a cashier. Only a cashier? Well, do you have to pay people out the winnings? Yeah, that's me. Oh, right, sir. Yeah. You must be the most popular person in the place, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy doesn't look too bad, does he? No. We don't know what's going on inside his head, though, do we? True enough. He's dead lucky, I'm a Nicky, helping him out. I just hope she doesn't get too involved. I just hope he doesn't try and tear the arm and stuff with her. Oh, I don't think that's likely. I mean, with Lindsay off the scene now, our Nicky's more like a substitute daughter for her. Aunt? Found these upstairs. Hey, hang on, don't walk off on me. Yeah, that kid took the chain. Hello, Ron. Welcome home. He's here. Oh, yeah. Well, you timed that well. There's tea in the pot. Hello, Ron. Welcome home. How come you arrived in a taxi? I thought Mike and Jackie were picking you up. Yeah, so did I. Hello, mate. Back off the oil vigs, eh? <laughs> That's where all the Isle lags used to say they'd been. Bet you made up to be back in your own house. <sighs> I've been looking forward to it, yeah. <laughs> Better know what else you're looking forward to and all. Sleeping in your own bed. Absolutely. I've been dreaming about it for weeks. Are you sure everything's all right? I said, yeah. And you're okay about going back to school? Why shouldn't I be? Just wondering. So what's all this about? I just had enough of them. You didn't have to break them, though, did you? You could have given them away to a charity shop. Go on, so why did you break them? I thought you'd all be pleased. It's going to be Dad wants me to do for ages. This is the third time I've been phoned by people wanting to know where Sol is. I haven't got a clue. I don't know. I tried phoning his wife. That's all. Right. You better get ready to answer some of my dad's big questions, like who's been sleeping in my bed or oh, grandchild. What grandchild? Aye, aye. And what kind of a flaming welcome home do you call this, eh? You leave me stranded for a start, then I get home and find I have to close in here. Dad, we're really sorry. Yeah, I got held up. I'm mean, to stop for petrol. We must have only just missed you, you know. Hey, OK, enough, enough, you two. Just chill out with you. <laughs> Worst things happen at sea. We're all home now, aren't we? Come here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Family. Yeah, well, I've got two of the best here, haven't I? Yeah, you know, listen, uh, we'll be getting off in a sec, make some room for you. Yeah, whatever, it's no rush, no sweat. Have another cup if you like. I've just been speaking to Gary about you again. Oh, yeah? He's willing to overlook it this time, your job's safe. Yippee! Yippee! You heard? Katie, I've just really stuck my neck out for you. At least you could do is say thanks. Thanks? You hard-faced mare, will you listen to yourself? And I know Ron's coming out of jail today, and I know he's going to be walking around there, but you'll be tripping over each other, so just get over it, will you? Just like that? Yeah, just like that. I'll tell Gary you'll go down to thank him in person when you've got your face straight. Keep in touch, Ellen. I will. I'll see you soon. I hope so. Give my love to Stephanie. Yeah. Thanks for the cuppa. Ah, oh, it's no bother. It's nice to see you back again. See ya. Right, uh, better get home then, get unpacked. Yeah, I should get going as well, get some tea for Steph. Yeah. Right, um, see you whenever? Yeah, sure, whenever. Listen, um, you'll be visiting Ray again, won't you? Bound to be, yeah. Great stuff. Could see you then. I could ask Ray to let you know when I'm due. That'd be sound. 
Okay. Bye then. Yeah, right. See ya. Bye. Uh, um, now's not really a good time. I've got about eight house calls I've got to make. Do you want to take a minute? Fine. Okay. I just wanted to say sorry and to say thanks. You should tell me what you said about not disciplining me. You've got a really good friend in there, she, you know? She really stuck up for you. Yeah. But in the end, Katie, it wasn't just the practice you let down, or Nisha. It was myself, I know. I get low sometimes. Depressed, I suppose, and... So I've got no energy left to deal with stuff. Or you lost someone you really loved. And all that heartache's gonna take some time to come out, you know. You shouldn't beat yourself up for being human. Home, sweet home, eh? Are Tim not around there? No, he's doing a job for one of Steve's mates. Moving some hard oily engine for a tenner. Ah, good man. Doing an honest day's work at last, eh? Yeah, not for an honest day's pay, though. Right, I'll go and get unpacked. Someone putting the kettle on? Yeah, I will. You never mentioned the makeover? Maybe you liked it? No. It's not that, it's still too cluttered. You just never even noticed it. Oh, this lot. It's not like our auntie, is it? He just said he was fed up with them. No way. This is all down to that Imelda one. She put him under so much pressure, he didn't know whether he was coming or going. What's she got to do with him breaking statues? I don't know. Unless it was a good thing for him to have done, like he wanted to move on, leave all that Imelda stuff behind. What do you think my mum will say? She won't say anything. Cos we're not gonna tell her. Why not? If you're only bloody yourself sick about it, and if he wants to wreck his statues, that's his business. So now they've all gone, just like Imelda. Maybe now we can all start to move on. Do you mind talking in front of Nicky? No, of course not. She's part of my all singing, all dancing home care plan. And whatever you need to say to me, she needs to hear. Right, well, there's some airline like information in these it might help you to start off with. Basically, I just thought I'd check whether you got home all right. Yeah, fine. All ready to pick up my life where I left off. And you're committed to carrying on with your medication? For now, yeah. Till I find something better. Right, I need you to be really clear about this, both of you. Over the past few weeks, you've been through a huge emotional and physical trauma. Now, you need to take your medication and stay stable for as long as you can, OK? We understand all that, yeah. Jimmy? I know the score. <laughs> Why don't I feel very reassured by all this? We'll talk this over when you've come. Right. OK, well, there's one or two other things to remember as well. Firstly, care in the community. Oh. Now, I know a lot of people scoff at it, but really, it's to try and give you the benefit of being in your own home environment. What it's not is a chance for you to go around out of control, causing concern for your neighbours, right? Or running a mark at the shops. Yeah, well, these things happen, don't they? I've read about them in the papers, yeah. Exactly, but we don't want to be reading about you in the paper, right? And secondly, whilst I think it's all well and good having a home care plan and the CPN coming in when she can, at the end of the day, you've got to take a huge amount of responsibility for yourself. You broke a policeman's nose, Jimmy. Now, if you come off your medication again, you could do a lot worse. You won't just be a danger to yourself, you could be endangering people around you. Dad, look, we're really sorry. We didn't want to tell you when you were locked up. We didn't want to worry you. Yeah, we'll get Ray and Jesse out. We can go on a bed and breakfast. Yeah, then you can have your own bed back then. Michael, Jacqueline. I'm not storming out in protest. Just because I've been in prison, I'm not going to end up on the roof flinging slates down. I just want to get some fresh air, that's all. And I'm not bothered about who's in my house or my business or anything. All them things can wait, can't they? Listen, after being locked up for four months, can you imagine what this feels like? Just being able to go outside when I like to, to go around a shop and buy a paper or buy sweets for my grandchildren. Just being free to do it. 
I'm being free like that. To do what I want whenever I want. It means more to me than anything. You ready then? How's it going? Well, you wanted to go out, didn't you? Come on, let's go. So, how does it feel being my home support system? Okay. How's it feel being home? Oh. Good, I think. Better than being cooped up in that hospital. Listen, you know that thing he was on about? Me being a danger to other people. Have you ever felt like that about me? You know, like... frightened of me or anything? Not exactly frightened. I was a bit worried one time. Just before you disappeared. When I was in the room with you by yourself. I just felt like anything could have happened. I can barely remember what I was doing. It was like my brain shut things like that out. You didn't do anything out of order. It just felt like you could have done. What about all that stuff I wrote on the walls? That must have been scary for you. More upsetting than scary. Didn't turn into Charles Manson, then? Who? Oh, it doesn't matter. How come the walls are so wet in there? I didn't think you'd want to come home to me. I thought it'd be a big step back for you. It'd be just great if we could do that. Paint over the past, you know. Forget all about it. Yeah, something we'd all like to do that. But anyway, that was then, not now. That was when you were exactly the normal, real Jimmy. You were just in the middle of an episode. Shouldn't be an excuse for me scaring you, though, should it? Nothing happened. Let's just forget about it, eh? Start thinking about tomorrow, and what's been and gone. You've stuck your neck out for me, haven't you? <laughs> I'm Really appreciate that, Nicky. <laughs> Katie. Well, put me some stuff on me. Look out. Again, eh? No, we won't. I'm sure she's got it out of her system. Promise. Your beef is with Bev. My beef is with the owner of the bar. And the new owner of the bar is your missus. Does your dad know you? No way. And I don't want anyone else telling them either. <laughs> Get lost! You OK, Jim? Back to square one. Brookside's back Wednesday at 8. Next up, something has gone poof in the night. Father Ted's having a crafty one and dreaming of a secret cigarette next. I 
not in full English. What do you say, love? Full English? I can't hear you. I said you fancy a... Fry up. <coughs> Don't know what a fancy. I think I've swallowed a tin of polish here. <coughs> Ow! <laughs> home sweet home, eh? That smell off to you. No. Well, I smell a rat. Oh, rather, I wish I did. You okay, Jim? Back to square one, kid. Back to square one. Hey, Lucy, wait up. See you around like a donut. Breakfast ready, Jim? No. Not for me, kid. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Not even a glass of tap water? Honest, Dad, it really is just a flying busy. You have put your manager's head on, haven't you? Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to read some in the riot act. What, down at the bar? No, it's not open until tomorrow. Oh, are you going to have a do? Yeah, but it's not going to be all bells and whistles, put it that way. Are you going to come, aren't you? Well, we'll see, eh, love? Maybe, you know, maybe I should just babysit, eh? <laughs> I get lost. It's all sorts. Are you coming? <sighs> so, uh, who's in trouble, then? Mm, somebody at the health club. Somebody you should know better. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> You're flaming hostile in here. Yeah, well, the builders are going to start on the bungalow in a couple of weeks, aren't they? Exactly. Start. <sighs> so... Great grannies, then. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs to pick up from the parade, so I'll leave you to it. All right, see ya. Oh, Dad, it's not good news. It takes along OK. You're not making any profit. Jacqueline has kept the wolf away from the door for a good few years now. Now, once I'm Most back at the Most of your clients, Dad, have cancelled their contracts. Yeah, but that's to do with the court case, isn't it? We knew that we'd lose some customers. 73% of them. Blimey. Your only copper bottoms income is Ray and Jesse's rent. Yeah, but meanwhile, I'm stuck in a single bed in the baby's room. It's, it's like being back inside. Dad. Things I was going to do once I got out. Start my great grannies. Do you know what you need? A full time job where you can clock on and clock off. No risks, no responsibilities. At my age, I've got less chance than Jimmy Corkill. I tell you, even I wouldn't give me a job. So what's this job you're doing again? Shifting builders' waste. Ooh. Sure that's a good idea? Yeah. Why? Look, Jimmy's taking his meds. He's got a care plan. And he's got us. Well, he's got me anyway. Not saying nothing. Good. What if he loses the plot again, eh? Then we'll cope. This is his home, not a prison. But what if we need to lock him up again? You know, as a last resort, like. Well, it's too late now. Sorry. You're the one with the screw loose. Before you get snapped up by the Liverpool Philharmonic, Anthony, make sure I get that science project. Sorry, miss. I want it first thing Friday morning. OK. You have had the whole of the Easter holidays. I know, miss. Well, how come everybody else has managed it? I wasn't very well. What was the matter with you? Friday morning or Monday detention? Right, I'm off, Jim. I've got rubble to shift. It's a cinch. Now you've got the makings of a catwalk model. Hi, Luby Lou. Mum. Oh, I have an off Miss Jew. Oh. Is Richard in the car? Eh, uh, no, sweetheart. How's she been? Good as gold. Thought you were getting back together. Oh, come here, Lou. Hey, Who am I going to knock about with if you sling it up? Cheers. Why didn't you get back with him? Oh, I'm sorry, hon, but it's grown-up stuff. But there might be something in my bag for you off Richard. Why don't you have a root? It's just something about the health club that your mum can't resist, eh, Lou? Oh, I don't know. She's not happy with me signing on. She's certainly not happy with me with the work ethic. What is it? CD. £50. Wow, that's brilliant. 
And what does the card say? That he misses me. Enough. We'll see. Hey, and you know, if it doesn't, we'll go out and find it. At least I'm still alive, eh? Which is more than can be said for Moffat. Oh, um, I saw Katie yesterday. Oh, yeah. Well, we're on a bit more of an even keel these days, so. Well, that's good, isn't it? Did you speak to her? <sighs> Dad? No. No, not really, no. Well, she didn't give you a mouthful, did she? <laughs> well, what happened? I think a mouthful just about sums it up, Jack. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'm going to have a word with her. No, I don't want you to. No, oh, she's not on. You've saved your time. The irony is I'm probably one of the few people I could help her. It's just her and me and that young lad's mother stuck in the same nightmare. <sighs> Promise me you won't say anything, Jack. And what if it happens again, eh? No, it won't. I'm sure she's got it out of her system. Promise. OK. I robbed that girl of her future, don't forget. It was an accident, Dad. It's time she let go. How can she? Poor kid. The pair of us have got a life sentence. Doing business with you? Yeah, well, the feeling was mutual until the other day. You mean Lynn's phone call? Look, why you've lied to your wife is none of my business, right? But lying to me, and when I'm up to my eyes in the reopening. I, I apologize, it it's complicated. Oh, well, let me simplify it for you. Any more swing on the lead, and you can sling you. Anthony, the bin. You really want me? It was metal. What happens, Anthony? You were starving on the book. And you've just got yourself a detention. Anthony. What happened? They stuck my head in the sink. Mrs. Plummer's office, you lot. Go on, now. Come on, we better dry you off. Find you a towel, eh? Don't let the furor see those. Give you our talent, did she? Mm. Oh, yep. I meant wifey, not Dixon. <sighs> Sammy, that little rack looks like a bomb, is it? <sighs> Your wish is my command. Louise, um, could you give him a hand? <sighs> You'd have you seen me dad, didn't you? <sighs> Take it on board. Actually, he's telling me to bust out. It's very big of him. How's your shadow? Can't remember life without her. How did your Sammy get on? What Richard? Oh, she came away empty handed. Well, she did go, didn't she? What do you mean? Well, assault is a lot of at the same time. And? Um, I just wondered, that's all. Do you want to see a train ticket or something? Oh, look, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit on edge today. Does your dad know you? No way. And I don't want anyone else telling them either. 
You and I wouldn't stoop that low. Since when? Lou, are we swimming all well? Bit of forward planning wouldn't go amiss. How can a flame and tip refuse anything? Builder's waste. Rubbish is no picnic. I suppose. Not for Tony Soprano. That's New Jersey. This is Manor Park. And you have got a distribution problem. Cheers, Einstein. Case to join some at a bit of a loose end. Yeah, of course. That's all I need. Got any towels, please? I bring your own, love. They're not always fresh. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But listen, feel free to take your custom elsewhere. Nah. It's like Christy says. It's local. And I suppose that was another one of your good ideas at the time, was it? Shadwick. But just say Nicky. Yeah. And can you tell him I've been trying to get hold of him all week? OK, thanks a lot. Do you know? Now the bingo hall. I should get that message tonight. I thought I'd pop round and say hello. All right. Hello! Oh, well, it's only knock drowns to make sure I haven't popped you under the patio. Oh, for heaven's sake. What if he doesn't call back? He will. Oh, have you got something to say now? Well, only that... Look, even if your own doesn't get in touch, would that be so terrible? You're messing. Oh, I don't know. Men and their lies. Ray, you mean? Ray, your dad, Jerome. Well, I've forgiven him. I'll wheel it out like every time we have a row, but I have to forgive him. Else we don't stand a chance. Nan, I have to forgive him. <laughs> Easier said than done. The same way he'll have to forgive me for me caving in under pressure. Oh, not the insurance again. For 500 quid. Well, I'm sure Jerome and his principals will be very happy together, all cuddled up on somebody's floor. Nan! You did the sensible thing. In that department, anyway. <sighs> Jimmy's ill. Yes, I know. And it's not a question of kiss it better. I thought this God was supposed to be a social corner. <sighs> it's just that it's a lot of responsibility to shoulder, that's all. You don't know what you're getting into. Yeah, well, you're just going to have to trust me on this one, aren't you? The poor man's capable of anything. It'll be fine. And I'll be a lot better when Jerome phones me. It's five years ago since Matthew and Emily died, you know. How is Maxie? No, I can be. Same as always. Nothing more hellish than losing a child, Jack. Losing two. Look at me, eh? <laughs> Following you around like a pup. Hey, don't be soft. It's nice to see you out and about with your head held high. You look done in, you know. Rachel's been with the real hard work. Ah, she's a good kid. Even if she has turned me out into Lime Street Station. <laughs> she makes flat out, you know, and after three kids, I don't know how she does it. Yeah, but you just got to get on with it, haven't you, love, eh? Handle whatever life throws at you. Like that. That was on my cell door, there. Funny, innit? You said my name on my dressing room when I compared it to Legion. Taz. Never thought I'd see it on a prison cell. Yeah, well, you're home now. Thank God. Any more than four months, I'd have... You said what? I'd have ended it. For good. Hey, Maxwell. Hi. Oh, I could just go a hot chockey or something. What the hell are you playing at? You're not going to believe this, but you know that pool down there have been swimming, in it? You know, there is a dress code in this place, as in, wear one. Beetroot! I only wanted to have a gap. I've just made up that our lance is going to be made today. Well, for your information. Oh, I forgot to thank your wife. Do you know what? My manners have gone to part. Well, there's no need, really. Best man for the job. Well, I'll just go and say cheers to Lady F, you know. She won't mind, will she? Look, would you please just go? Oh. Oh. And just a little reminder for your palm palace or whatever. Compo for Leanne. Brackets, sister of you, maitre d' close brackets. Your beef is with Bev. My beef is with the owner of the bar, and the new owner of the bar is your missus. Compensation for what? Injuries. Well, I've just seen you do ten lengths. Well, you can look, but you can't touch Maxie, sorry. This is madness. My physio says I should try and swim as much as possible, so this place could be coming home from home. 
Oh, aye. Looks like the murderers upset your wifey. Hey, come on, come on. The important thing is I didn't do it, Jack. Yeah, but the fact that you'd even thought about it. I couldn't have stood it any longer in there, Jack. I really couldn't. At least with four months, I could see a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, well, I would never have forgiven you, you know. Yeah, well, I'm here now, aren't I? And I'm alive. Promise me you never would, Dad. I promise. Come here. Are you both going straight home? Yes, miss. I'm glad it'll be fine for that project, Anthony. Thanks. I think it could do with a quiet night in. Who wants a quiet night in? Hey, when I go to Iron Apple, I'm going to be that blitz. I'll need a blood transfusion. She can let me. Does sound like the day from hell. Yeah, well, you know, the woman who split me mum and dad off is managing me bar. The woman who tried to split me and you up is behind reception, filing their claws. And then Leanne Powell, the one who tried to blind me, has been doing the breaststroke in my pool. Oh, well, I'm afraid I'm gonna put the lid on it. What? <clears throat> I've offered Lance a job in the restaurant. Oh. I like chalk and cheese, those two. Look, he is the best... He is the only person for the job. Oh, yeah. Well, he's dead personable, isn't he? To everyone else except me. That's because of his poisonous sister. Yeah, well, at least Lance will free you up. So you can spend some time with your grumpy wife. Grumpy wife and horrible children. However many there may be. I won't even ask. Yeah. Last thing you and me need is trouble. Hey, Blond, sorry. Listen, you think we're different kettles of fish, don't you? I don't know what I think anymore. Um, I thought something to the Aussie. Yeah, well, being different isn't a crime, Jimmy. But shooting someone, now that is madness. Oh, aye, aye. It's all on top. <laughs> He'll be all right, though. Kissed a blarney stone, that one. Oh, kissed it, robbed it, flogged it, and then lost the money on a horse. Go on, just tell me. Oh, Charming. You don't trust me with the truth, but I'll do when you need someone to hold your flame in hand. I'll never be bullied again. Hello, what about today? Those lads? They never planned it. That was nothing. I'll never be bullied, bullied again. I don't want to moan. Today of all days, it's not fair on you. Look, telling me how you feel isn't moaning. How you feel is... how you feel. Well, I feel like I'm being taken over. There's this thing growing inside me and it's getting bigger and bigger by the minute. What are you frightened of? Apart from the most agonising pain on earth, you mean? My hair coming out in clumps, my teeth rattling around in my head and big fat elephant ankles. Jackie. Being pregnant. Not again. Not now. So how'd you get on inside? Oh, you know, just tried to keep a low profile. I bet some of the screws thought you were a bit of a hero, eh? I did myself sometimes. It's honest. Yeah, but for every screw that admired me, there was three cons who thought I was the scum of the air. Give me out. I can imagine. Don't feel like a hero now, though, I can tell you. I feel like I'm on borrowed time, like... there's some big payback to give. That leads to the nuthouse. So how come you had a... Episode. Well, the quacks reckon it was because I came off my medication. Are you back on it now, eh? Yep. And if I don't play ball, they'll lock me up again. Sedate me. I wouldn't mind being sedated. I could do with the kip. <laughs> well, all you've got to do is take the walk down the Mersey Tunnel, get arrested, beat up a busy, and there you go. Piece of cake. <laughs> Might as well go out in style, eh? We live to tell the tale. Yeah, but yours is a colourful anecdote. Mine's a bloody horror story. I never thought you'd ever see the inside of a prison. <sighs> and I bet there was a bit of you that was made up, eh, Jim? No. Liar. <laughs> no, no, straight up. I did wonder how you'd cope with the shame, though. Because it's the shame that'll do you down, remember that? Hi, 
I could sell ice to an Eskimo. Is he gonna buy number five? No, he's an estate agent, just having a look around. And what did he say about the bags of rubble? Well, I told him I was shifting it, not dumping it. And he believed her? Well, I better go and see if any more refugees have shipped in. After all, I have been gone a whole hour. You're older and wiser. And I know there's probably never a good time to get pregnant, but this really is a bad one. Right. I just feel like my life isn't my own anymore. But now that it's happened, we, we've just got to face it. I'm facing it every morning when I'm face down in the toilet bowl. I know it's hard. <sighs> Everything's back on track. You know, Rachel was great with Harry and Emma. Work's hectic, but I thrive on hard work. I know. I was really getting stuck into the bar, you know, keeping all the balls up in the air and then bang. A nine-month countdown to... Well, slavery's a bit hard, but it's being taken over, being forced to take a backseat from the cut and thrust. A lot of women feel like that early on, though, don't they? I don't think it's a phase, Max. The thoughts of... Having a baby just feels like going backwards in life. I've been there before. Not really. Uh, Susanna nursed Harry for two years. No. And there was a time when I really felt like I'd missed out, but... Now? I'm sorry. Now I, I just don't want to be pregnant. I'm so sorry. Watch me. Gonna be fine now, aren't I? You shouldn't have a baby until you know the time is right. I saw Katie Rogers today. And what did I do? I hid. Why do you think it happened in the first place? Maybe I actually wanted people to notice how crap I was feeling for once. Please, I just want to find my wife, because I don't know what is happening! If you're distressed by bullying or want to know more, you can call the Channel 4 Recorded Information Line on 0870 122 9944 at any time. Stay with us. Location, location, location is next. about ten pairs of hands. Hey, listen, you are coming, aren't you? It's open at night tonight. Uh, evening meeting, but we're trying to show our faces, yeah? Yeah, good. We'll tell Gabby I've got Max on orders, not to board a ridges with all that school governor's talk. <laughs> you know, his hair won't shut up about it. I'm going to try keeping her away from him. So, how are you feeling? Oh, do you know what? I am up the wall. The place is like a tip. Half the fittings haven't arrived. And these should have been here last week. No, I actually got this done. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Good. So, when are we going to see you for your first antenatal, or have you made your appointment? Um, well, I haven't got round to it yet, so... It's just the midwife gets booked up really, really quickly. I know how busy you and Max both are. We do like you to come in together, yeah? Yeah, well, when we get round to it, I'll let you know, OK? Oh, yeah, um, great. I didn't mean anything by that, and I, I know it's not your first. It's just better if you're both there, you know? Can't have to remind Max how much you need support of him, yeah? Yeah, well, Max is right behind the idea, so... Probably in trauma therapy or something. Do you know, I liked it best the way it was. So did I. I mean, I'm with the door. Uh, listen, Katie, about tonight, you couldn't do us a favour, could you? 
I've already got babysitting duties. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? It's not like you're going out. I am really, really stuck. Hey, and Josh and Louise be good company for each other. It'd take the hassle off you. It's getting like Katie's after school club up there. Let's start charging. <laughs> oh, it's after the way work's going. There's only so much humble pie I can eat. Oh, what's up? Been a naughty girl for Dr. Gary. I think I do things differently to how Mrs. Dawson used to. Yeah, well, you're not the only one who's got the boss nagging at them all day. Thanks for the babysitting thing. Cheers for that, Gary. It's all right. Hey, the rest of the bar's looking good. Oh, yeah, the bits that they've finished. I know where I'm going to get all night. Oh, it doesn't look much different, does it? No, it, it looks completely different. We'd definitely be popping in anyway. I mean, I used to avoid the place, to be honest. <sighs> Well, the main thing is to get this opening party out of the way and get them cash tills ringing. That is my number one priority at the moment. Your number two priority, surely. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't mean to nag or anything like that, but please promise me that you'll take it a bit easier, will you? I'll do my best. I mean, I know it's not your first and you know what you're doing and everything. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Hey, have you and Gabby never thought about having kids? Yeah, I thought about it. But you don't? No, but... Not yet, anyway. Oh, what, because of your careers? <sighs> well, I say not yet, but I don't think either of us are really 100% that we want them at all. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but you say that to people and they think you're off your head, you know? I mean, like it's your duty or something. Why get married if you're not going to have kids, you know? No, we have to just do what you want, don't we? Yeah. I suppose something will just kick in eventually. I don't know. <sighs> not for everyone. I mean, what is wrong with wanting a life of your own? I mean, when I think of the things that my mum gave up for us, yeah, you're right. And then we were brought up being told to put our careers first, weren't we? Yeah, and that is bang on. You shouldn't have a baby until you know the time is right. Unless you can give it all your attention. Yeah, but then the other side of that, of course, is that you leave it too late. And that's happening more and more these days, isn't it? Yeah, but what's worse? Taking a risk and waiting, or having a baby when you don't want one. Yeah, I'm probably firing blanks anyway, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> you can't be neurotic, you're a doctor. You're joking, aren't you? I deal with ill people every day. I'm bound to be a little bit of a hypochondriac. Oh, you could always give yourself the test for the... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you just yeah, said... Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to know unless I need to know, really. Oh, well, some example you're setting. You can talk. <laughs> hey, I thought these were supposed to arrive last week. Yeah, they were, but no-one thought to harass the princess till it was too late, did they? That a bit of a dig or what? Bev, do us a favour and wash down those bar fridges. They're in the right state. And can you change over the gas bottles? Oh, I'll get Nikki to do it later. Uh, no, well, Nikki's late. And I have asked Sammy to come over, but of course she's mysteriously absent, so someone's got to get stuck in. So, are you expecting a big crowd tonight? Yeah, no, not really. Just friends and family, mostly. I don't want a big thing. We had Graham Norton and Carol Smiley when I opened. Yeah, followed by your topless night, which was all Mike and Tim with the bits out. No wonder people stayed away. Uh, that was a success, actually. Um, I was wondering whether it'd be possible for me to have a cup of coffee. I mean, the stuff at the surgery tastes like mud. <laughs> Sorry, we're closed. Yeah, but I was just... No, I mean, how would you like it if I came banging on your door out of hours, demanded to be examined? Bev, the opening's in a couple of hours, so... Mm, some party this is going to turn out to be. I mean, aren't you making any effort? What about the freebies? Look, I don't mind putting a few drinks on for family, but that's it. Not even a buffy? Well, it's a soft opening. <sighs> soft, all right. Hey, Bev. Look, I'd really like a change of attitude as well as a change of image. Rule number one, the customer is always right. And what's that meant to me? I think Gary likes his coffee black. I'm sorry, but it's not as easy as that. I mean, I don't hear from you in weeks. And then suddenly you, like, expect... Oh, you expect me to say all is forgiven. No, I'm sorry, Jay, it doesn't work like that. I don't know what I want now. Look, I'm gonna have to go anyway. See you later. Can you believe him? Suddenly he's like, oh, I'm really sorry, Nicky. Made a mistake. He wants us to get back. Shouldn't you have taken up this Don't morning? Worry. I won't report you to Lindsay. You know, tonight, well, Jackie said I can invite someone, so do you fancy it? What about Jerome? I'm asking you. Oh, uh, yeah, I can just say it. They'd be well chuffed when I walk in. Jackie Farn, I'm kicking off because she hasn't had the walls padded out in the refit. No one's going to be like that. Come on, it'll be a laugh. Watching the Dixons enjoying themselves. Sounds great, yeah. I just thought that you might. You don't have to watch me every minute of the day. Gonna be fine now, aren't I? Oh, 
It is the first day, Nikki. I know, and I said I won't be late again. I'm sorry. All right. I'm not being funny. I just expect everyone to pull their weight, you know what I mean? Hi. Have you got a minute? Just a sec. Uh, while the pair of you are here, if anyone sees Leanne Pal near that door tonight, just let me know, OK? What's up? Well, I thought you might fancy a spot of lunch. Uh, you've got no chance. I'm run off my feet, Max. Well, I think you should take a break, because I know you're working yourself into the ground. Yeah, well, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Yes, but you in your state, you shouldn't get so stressed out. Oh, look who's here. How are you? I've been trying to get hold of you all afternoon. Where have you been? Um, me and Sol have to whiz up to the office supplies place. Stationery. And that took two of you. Hey, we were desperate, and it took us ages getting it put away. <sighs> anyway, where do you want me on the bar? Yeah. Do you know what? She is trying to make a fool out of me. As if I don't know what's going on with the two of them. Don't let it get to you. Oh, don't worry, I won't. As soon as one of them puts one foot wrong, they're out. I'm not having them laughing at me behind me back. This is what I'm talking about. You're kidding yourself totally you stressed out. And... Yeah, well, I think I've got good reason. Yeah, and I know why. We both do. But you're throwing yourself into work like it's going to make it go away, and it's not. Max, I really haven't got time for this. I've got a million and one things to be doing. Yeah, and that's why I'm worried. All the extra responsibility. It's hard enough to cope, even if you weren't. Exactly. It's hard enough to cope already. I'll have to go. Tell them I'll be like two minutes. Hi. Hiya. How are you? I didn't see you at the last meeting. No, I've been busy with work lately. So. Uh, right. Well, you didn't miss much. Huge excitement. Oh, I don't know. I read the minutes. Sounds like you gave them a hard time on the traffic calming measures. <laughs> That's about as exciting as it gets. Well, the school is terrified at the moment for getting bad publicity over this Amanda girl. No news on her yet. Well, you have to worry. She's been gone quite a while. Oh, it's her parents I feel sorry for. I can't imagine what it's like, can you? Losing a child like that. Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. Max, sorry, did I? No, it's... I lost two in a car accident. Oh, my. Oh, Max, I'm so sorry. I... It's OK. Oh, I'm really sorry for bringing it up. Honestly, <laughs> you can buy me a coffee if you feel that bad about it. Well, don't say I'll have to pay the prices that rip-off merchant in the shelf charges. What are you doing round here? Um, Got a pasty for your dinner? You know, but my wife out. What's the problem? Oh. Escape them before countdown starts. I wouldn't mind, you know, Jesse can't spell and Ray can't even see the letters properly. They both get nine every go. <laughs> Just switch it over then. Oh. And you're an unwelcome guest in your own home. Some old. Yeah, they bog off. Oh, charming. Buy one, get one free. As in Lord Fan and buys, and we get one free. Sensitive, it's horrible, this, Rach. Well, it might help your toothache. It was the only two for one, so stop whinging. It's a pity no one warned me they were doing two families for one now as well. It'll only be for a few more weeks, Mr. Dixon. Uh, Rach, I've got Darby and Joan sleeping in my bed, so uh, I think you and I can afford to be a little less formal, eh? <laughs> so no more, Mr. Dixon. It reminds me of being back inside. OK. Wrong. <laughs> You're mellow in your old age, aren't you, Pops? Ray and Jessie must be a good influence on you. Maybe you should ask them to stay on for a bit. Not fully. <laughs> They'll be gone soon, and then it'll all be back to normal. Ron. <laughs> it won't, though, will it? Yeah. Got a card this morning from Anthea. Welcome home. Oh, that was nice of her. Yeah, but she obviously couldn't face phone and actually speaking to me, could she? Well, she's in America. Did you really want to speak to her? Yeah, but what does it tell you, Michael? Not, not even Anthea can be bothered with me. One more person I've drove away. Dad, she let you down the one time you really needed a help. Right, I better go and check on the kids. They're drawing pictures for Adele. She's looking after them tonight. I don't know, Michael. I did a lot of thinking about her when I was inside. Maybe I handled it all wrong. Maybe... Well, maybe I should have tried to see her side a bit more. Are you missing her? I don't know, son. Maybe not Anthea, but... But I just miss having someone, you know? Sorry again. No, no, it's all right, honestly. Mm. No, it's good to talk about them. And I'll see you at the party later. Yeah, looking forward to it. Oh, and I apologise in advance for leaving my father-in-law stays or does. <laughs> Hello. Yes. I've got to... Something's... It's Chucky. Oh. 
Lovely. I've done those prescriptions for you as well, sir. This is all by way of an apology. I suppose I could just go the ball on way and say sorry. Yeah, well, it's not me you should be apologising to. It's the practice manager. I know, but you got me the promotion and I figured you must have had a word in her ear for me about what happened. So. Yeah, maybe. But it's only because Nisha had a word in mine. You are a big time, you know that. Yeah. I know you've got a lot of personal stuff going on at the moment, but, I mean, who hasn't? You didn't need to let it get that far, you know? I mean, come and talk to me if you want to. And if, if not here, then down the pub or what? No, sorry, not down the pub, obviously. Katie, look, I, I don't want it to seem like I'm having a go at you or anything, but you've got to set a good example now. You're the first point of contact with the public. Who knows what they must have been thinking? I don't really care. What do you think? They don't know anything about me, do they? I'm sorry. It won't happen again, I promise. Why do you think it happened in the first place? I don't know. Maybe I actually wanted people to notice how crap I was feeling for once. Come on! Or I don't want to talk to you. Either way, leave a message. Bye. The stupid thing was, I was so determined to make a go with this job. I really wanted to be good today. You have been. I'd just been sent to one of the other doctors how well you were coping. I took my niece to feed the ducks the other day and I was watching these swans and I thought, that's me. And the way they look so graceful and calm, but you can't see they're underwater. They're going like the clappers just to stay afloat. Do you not feel you can talk to your friends about any of this stuff? Well, friends. Look in the diction under Billy No, mate, and says Casey Rogers. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Mm, just a local mug. No, it's all right if they need a babysitter or they want the flat cleaning up, but apart from that, they don't want to know. I mean, even my sister, Sammy, she comes to stay making out she's worried about me, then she dumps her kid on me and turns into one of my worries. What about Nisha? She told me, you know, about your boyfriend and about the guy coming out of prison, Jackie's dad. Is that why you've been drinking? Do you know what? It's Clint's fault I'm a Billy. He was enough, you know. Didn't matter about anyone else. Sad, probably, but it was just going to be me and him. Swans again, isn't it? To take one partner forever, don't they? It'll get better, you know. It may not feel like it, but it will do. Why do fellas always have to do that? You can't just listen, can you? You always have to offer some sort of solution. It won't get better. That's what's so hard. I I know it's never going to go away. It can't be solved. It's like with him being out, you know, he wants me to make up with him, he wants me to solve his problems for him, and I hate that. I hate him having any kind of life. Why should he? He should be dead. Yeah, I can understand you feeling like that, really. That's not why I was drinking, though. It was because I hate myself for feeling that way. I hate thinking that way. I hate what he's turned me into. Hello? Hi, sorry. <laughs> Lisa said I could come through, so... Hi, Katie. Oh, yeah. Is everything all right? I don't know. You haven't heard from Jackie Farnham today, have you? What is this music? You've expected a voice to come on. Your call is very important to us. <laughs> This is what Her Highness has ordered me to put on. Yeah, well, a taste of music's as bad as a taste in clothes. Where is she, anyway? Can't believe she's left us to do all the work. Well, I think we can guess this is how it's going to be from now on. I do all the work, and she reaps the benefits. Hey, she always giving it the big I am in the health club as well. Oh, she's usually worse. Is your Katie come tonight? Nah, she's looking after Louise for me. I'm Josh. Oh, doesn't sound like much fun for it. <laughs> well, she's not exactly into celebrating with the Dixons. Oh, no, she's not. How about your own? No. Don't know what's happening to me. How come? You know, we had this big falling out, you know, over the insurance thing. And now he wants to get back with me, but it's been ages and it's not the first time either. Well, I heard you two were like that. I was saving up for me hat. <laughs> Me would have taken him back yesterday, but I'm scared we're just going to be keep going round, you know, in circles. Maybe we should just let it go. Like I said after that nature thing, but then again, I am bitter and twisted, so you just do what you want. Yeah, and there's plenty more fish in the sea, you know. Yeah, but not all the fish are like that. <laughs> <laughs>
Howdy, guys and gals. Service. I'm Nicky's special guest. Hey, we're not over till six. But Jackie will never know. And to special guests, it's free. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Nice outfit. Is that pool table's gone? Jimmy, what do you think you're doing? You know you've meant to drink. I don't need a babysitter. Not even a paid one, OK? Top up. Thanks. It's my wife's car. Do you know where she is? It just came from nowhere. Well, she's taken to hospital. You must know she's all right. Is she going to this do tonight, Dad? No, no, it's not for me. Come on, Jackie said she wants you there. Yeah, it'll do you good to get out anyway. Oh, yeah. But for... So everybody can see the psycho up close. No, thanks. I thought you were fed up of being stuck in the house. Yeah, but I don't want to go out either. I saw Katie Rogers today. And what did I do? I hid. Bloody ashamed of myself. Dad, you were going on about wanting decent company, weren't you? Yeah, but what I want, I can't have. And what's that? What have I come out to, eh? Nothing. You've got us. I'm 54 years of age, and what have I got to show for it? A business on its last legs and a flaming card off me wife with buying a wall over the front of it. Oh, I don't think they made back from jail cats. But well, that's not the point, is it? It's not much to ask, though, is it? Hey, just someone to welcome me home properly. Not to, I don't know what you're on about. You've got all your grandkids around you. You've got Lord and Lady Farnham here. That's not everything, is it? Well, it's more than most people have got. You know what I mean? You know what? A man has his needs, Michael. Dad, I don't want to hear about your needs. Yeah. Yeah, of course I will. Max, what's the matter? No, because the phone is off. Rachel, I'll speak to you later. Fine! Everything is fine! That's a bit weird. I think I'll ring Beth. You don't suppose anything's wrong? Oh, you know what, Jackie? She'll be doing something high-powered and exciting somewhere. My name is Sir Max Farnham. Um, my wife, she's just been brought in. It's been a car accident. It's Jacqueline. Jacqueline Farnham. I need to know where she is. Hold on a sec. I'll just check. <laughs> she's an X-ray. Something's not right here. Jackie wouldn't be late for her own bar open. Oh, she'll come swanning in once it's full, making a grand entrance, almost as grand as a got. I don't know. No one knows where she is. Oh, she'll be fine. Right. I'll see you later. Uh, where do you think you're going? Back to the health club. If Jackie can't be bothered, I don't see why I should be. Well, I've got stuff for you to do here. Yeah, well, I'd rather see what I can do for Sol. Oh, aye, aye. Here comes another lecture. Jimmy, I don't do because of the money. I'm not saying it's wrong. Just, that's the way it is. You know, no point dressing it up. Your Lindsay offered me the money after I agreed to be your home support. It's not exactly Brewster's anyway. Or do you think I do all this because it's so rewarding? So it's not the money then, what is it? I can't even believe you're even asking me that. Well, it can't be anything else, can it? My family don't want to know me. My daughter is so keen to stay away, she's prepared to pay you to put up with me. Lindsay can stop paying me the stupid money if you want. I don't give a toss. I want to help you. End the story. I didn't ask you to come here because I had to. Take us, you're me mate. Throw it back in me face if you want. That's the truth. As he was dead. No! Terribly sorry, Mr. Farmer. There was nothing we could do. Uh, have you got a Jackie Farnham in there? No. Has she been in there? No, she hasn't. It's not in X-ray. Please, I just want to find my wife, because I don't know what is happening. <sighs> Dad, what? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to do it. I'm losing. You're not going to lose me. Supposed to do when you're in here. 
here. Child bed and hips. Something to get hold of. That's what I want. She just likes you, Sam, sometimes. Yeah, well, I'm not Susanna, all right? Come on, let's go upstairs. Let's see if we can cheer each other up. You only have to wait till tomorrow for that. Friday's Brookside is at 8.30. Next up, boot camp for bad drivers. The uncoordinated and overconfident get a roasting and retraining in Driven.